Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is David from Dave Den Web Dev, and in today's video, I'll be addressing a recent post I saw by the Metabox team, which was titled MB Views versus Dynamic Shortcodes: A Comprehensive Comparison. And I'll just touch on a few points that I saw there which I don't totally agree with, and I would like to hear your comments in the comment section to know what are your thoughts. I feel a lot of times these comparisons they are usually biased and not completely accurate. And in fact, as I'm giving my own thoughts, I may also be biased as well. So I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. But before we continue, I would like to say that I'm just a user of Dynamic Shortcodes. Currently, I don't own Metabox. So I'm just going to be going by what he wrote in his article and trying to come up with a rebuttal to say whether or not he was saying the correct thing or not. So as I go through it, you let me know if what I'm saying is right or what he's saying is right. So let's jump right in. I'll be going through the article from the bottom upwards and I'll be touching on some of the points, not every point, just the ones that I don't completely agree with. And I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. So the first point we're looking at is get data from multiple elements at once. And from the article, it suggests that the Dynamic Shortcodes plugin needs to use the Power Shortcodes feature to be able to accomplish this. It even goes ahead to show a screenshot that to get the post title and the post ID, you need to use a Power Shortcode. That's not actually correct. The Power Shortcode is useful, but not for that use case. You can retrieve any meta field you want either the post title, the post ID, and whatever better field you want, all in the same page. You don't have to come to a power shot code. In fact, you can even retrieve from different posts into the same page. And I will show you right now. So let's go over to a page I created. So I created a post type called event using ACF. I also went ahead to add some meta fields. So let me go ahead and open one of the posts. As you can see, I added some meta fields for dates, for description, and even a relationship field for the author or the organizer. So now let me go ahead and edit it with Bricks. And then I'll show you how we can retrieve all of those meta fields directly in Bricks. The advantage of even using dynamic shortcodes is that you can write it in line. You don't have to use a shortcode widget or element. So let me show you. So I can just say the Post title is post title with an ID of post ID. Then I can even go ahead and start retrieving some of the meta fields. So I'll come and say the post short description is, let me make that just for fun, make it an H3 and put the post short description. Then let me save this and go ahead and see it in the front end. Not saved yet. Control S. So saved. Refresh. Okay, now it's come. You can see the post title is, that's the post title. This is the ID 67. We have the short description. So I was able to add all of these meta fields into one element. So you can't tell me that I need to use a power shortcut for it. In fact, I can even go ahead and try to retrieve for the other post. So that's where we can use dynamic shortcut to even retrieve for another post. You don't still need to use power shortcut for that. So here we have this post. It has an ID of 42. So let me go back to my page and say, the post title with an ID of 42. Let me save that. You can see the post title is running of the AI bulls. If you come over, you can see running of the AI bulls. So that's it. You don't need to use a power shot code to retrieve multiple meta fields in the same element. You can add as many meta fields into the element as you want, and you can format them as much as you want. So that statement was not factual. So we'll go over to the second statement. The second point talks about data types. 
and in, it says that the Metabox Views provides a comprehensive solution for retrieving various data types. It supports data from, then it goes ahead to list different ones, posts, terms, users, custom fields, settings pages, and so on. Then it talks about dynamic shortcodes. It says dynamic shortcodes also retrieves data from posts, terms, and users. Also, it can get the value from custom fields created with Metabox, ACF, Pods, and WooCommerce, but it does not work with the settings page. That statement is not factually correct, and I'll prove it to you now. So let me go ahead and open a page that I created. For this example, I even went ahead to install multiple Metafuse plugins. So I installed ACPT, ACF, Jet Engine, and Pods, and I created different options pages for them or settings page, depending on how you say them. So the first one is for ACF, and all that it just shows is David Secret, and then it says David ACF. Same thing with the rest. The ACPT says David ACPT, and so on and so forth. So now let's go ahead and see how do we retrieve this value from the options page. So let's go over to dynamic shortcodes, then demo shortcodes. And then I'll simply go under option. This is a dedicated one for options pages. So anything in the WP options table should be able to be retrieved by dynamic shortcodes. So let me just go and easily search for, because all of them, I named them easily my this, my that. So all I have to do is just search for that my. Say my. See, for ACPT, I got it. If I go down, you see for pods, you can see David pod, so it's working. See Jet Engine, David Jet Engine, and all of them are there. And it even goes easily. You can just copy from here. So I'll just copy this for the pods one. So copy Control C. Then the only thing that you need to know that since it's an options page, you have to use it in a power shot code. That's the only difference. So I'll go to the power shot code now. Then I'll create a new one. And I'll just say. David secret, paste it there. Then I'll copy the shortcode name to see, save it. Then I can come back to my page and drop that power shortcode there, save it. And you can see it retrieved the value correctly, David pods. The same thing if you want to do with ACPT or even with Jet Engine, as long as they save their data in the WP options table, we can retrieve it. Unless they use a custom database table, then I'm not sure about that. But as long as they post it in the WP options table, then it should be able to be retrieved. And if you have ACF, because I know ACF is the most supported one among all of the Metafield plugins, then you can also retrieve it without even using a PowerShot code. So all you have to do is come over to your page. Then I'll just say, ACF, then I'll give the name of the shortcode, which was David underscore secrets. Then I just have to define that it is an options page, so add option, save it. Let's go and check. And you can see David ACF is being retrieved without having to use a power shortcode because ACF is the most supported one. So that's it. So that statement is false as well. Unless maybe Metabox has a different way of using their own options table, then I'm not sure about that because I don't have Metabox. But once I get access to Metabox, I'll do a better comprehensive uh, comparison between the two of them. So that's it for the second one. The third point he mentioned was about the syntax. And then he says, each plugin has its own unique syntax with similarities and differences. While they share some common features, their approaches to syntax can vary, which is true. Then it says Metabox is based on Twig and integrates smoothly with HTML. But it says, in contrast, Dynamic Shortcodes uses a custom syntax that doesn't follow Twig. This means users need to carefully follow its documentation. While it is designed to be straightforward, it can be less flexible for complex logic and may be harder to learn because of its unique syntax. I would argue that even with Twig, if you're not already familiar with Twig, then 
you also struggle with it because even I, I use Twig just a little bit and I struggle with Twig. But with the dynamic shortcodes, I'm able to understand the way the shortcodes was created. So I can create so many different complex shortcodes. So I say this is more based on the user. Depending on the user, it's like saying different page builders. Every page builder is created differently. It doesn't mean that one page builder is easier to learn than the other. It just means that I learned one first before I learned the other. So it can lead to some differences. But that's just my own opinion. I would like to hear your thoughts in the comments. And yeah, the last thing which he mentioned, which I don't fully agree with because I believe it is based on the user, is when he talked about create and place shortcodes. It says that not only the shortcodes, Metabox views also allows directly assigning the template to a specific location on a page. While I think this is quite cool and interesting, I don't feel that that is something that's supposed to be like a disadvantage to dynamic shortcodes because that's not what dynamic shortcodes was created to do. Generally, with whatever page builder or theme you use, they will already give you the option to create your templates. And all I have to do is just use the dynamic shortcodes in that template. So I don't see how that is a disadvantage because the Metabox views look similar to generate presses elements and dynamic shortcodes works fine within that element. So I can literally just create an element with generate press and then use my dynamic shortcodes there. I don't see the big deal. Or I use my page builder if I'm using bricks or Elementor, just create my template and then I put the dynamic shortcode into that template. So I feel that one is more of a user preference than saying it is an outright right or wrong option. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, please let me know in the comments. Hopefully when I get access to Metabox, I'll do some more proper testing and I will get back to you with a more detailed video. So thanks for watching. Please do give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you have any other thing you want me to talk about, please do write it in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.